Uh, I think for us, it's key to try to do what we do best. And in our case, if we do well, I would say, fixed income, we do well equity, especially in the European equity. And uh, if we do well as well real estate, and especially in those countries where we have presence, and mostly in Spain, that's what we do. And one of the reasons that we have beaten the benchmark uh, compared to the market during the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years is because that we put our force in those areas where we could sell. With the rest of the asset classes, and, and coming back to your question, we prefer to do it with a third party. Mm-hmm. It is true that in order to have control over the investment, we prefer to set up our own structure. So we set up different funds right now. We are in the process of launching our renewable energy, Muffer Renewable Energy Fund, or launching another European real estate where we are the largest investor in, in most of the cases, but we co-invest with an industrial partner. But also we leave it open as well to other similar uh, entities like us. I mean, all the small and medium sized insurers, all the foundations, which are very close related to us. With all these kinds of partners, we are happy to, to do co-investment, in, investing in the same asset class with the same risks and the same returns. But that's how we operate. On those areas, on those asset classes that we do well, we prefer to do it in-house. And that's the reason we have Mafre Asset Management, which is the larger independent asset manager in the Spanish market. And with those assets where we lack experience, or we prefer to go hand-in-hand with an industrial partner, I mean, renewable energy, we haven't invested in the parts. But when we decided, and the, and the board approved, to, to make a big investment in this asset class, then we search for the real uh, partner. And in this case, it was Iberdrola. So we've, we've had a couple of questions come in from viewers. Um, the first one is this. Do you think we will see a return to conventional assets as interest rates start to rise? Uh, for sure. I mean, this is just a question of time. I mean, we, we soon forget what's a business cycle. And sooner or later, for me, we should have rising interest rates probably um, some time ago. As I say before, I mean, I tend to believe that the market it doesn't work pretty well. Uh, there is a lot of intervention. Uh, probably central banks are doing the job that governments, they do not, uh, they are not happy to, to afford due to the social cost. But looking forward, we cannot afford to have such huge uh, fiscal deficit. We cannot afford to have this uh, debt to GDP increasing year after year. So uh, at some point, we have to repay our debts. And once the market is aware of the underlying risk, which probably they are not properly ref- reflected in the deals in many of the, of the different asset classes, I'm sure that we will come back but this also, it doesn't mean that we will have the traditional portfolio that we had maybe 20 years ago. Alternative has come to stay. Um, according to the ECB, right now, the average figure on the European sector is around 10%. If in the future this is 8 or 6 or maybe 14, I don't know. But I am sure that we will continue investing in, in alternative asset classes independently if the real estate, if real rates start to rise and we can profit from more traditional bonds or sovereigns. 